My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a t-shirt like this using our OKC 711 WT printer. This is actually a laser toner printer and what's nice about it is it actually has white toner in it which gives you the capability of doing things like black and dark colored shirts. And the heat press we're going to be using is our EL600 Metal Knox Swing Away Heat Press. And the paper you're going to want to use for this process is Forever, our Forever Laser Dark Low Temp Paper. It's actually a two-step paper. So let me show you the printer settings that you'll be using for this process. Hey guys, so our image is opened in Adobe Photoshop right now. You're going to want to go to File Print. You're going to make sure that the right printer is set up. So you're going to want the Oki C711WT open. You want to go to Print Settings. Within here, your paper source, you want to let the printer know to take the paper from the multi-purpose tray, which is the tray that is facing out in front of the printer. You're going to want to go to Advanced. You want to make sure that you have the, paper, the bright paper size set up. So for the image that we're printing, it's going to be a letter size. You can see there's many different settings in here. And then down here, you want to do Media Check Off. And for this paper, you want to set your media type as films because it is a filmy paper and for tray switch you want to press off press OK job options you want to go to fine detail and want to make sure that you check the box for mirror print so that once it prints and you transfer it onto the shirt it looks correctly and then you always want to check that you have white on when you're printing your image so you want to press OK here you want to do scale to fit media, just to make sure there's no areas of your image that's going off the side of the paper. And then you should want to hit print, and it'll be sent to your printer. Okay, now we're going to actually feed the paper into the printer. What your A sheet is going to look like. It has a matte side, and actually has a shiny side. You want to make sure the matte side is facing up when you put it in. As you can see, I have a couple sheets of just blank paper here. It's because this is a film, so it's very thin. So sometimes it has, the printer has a little bit of a problem picking it up, so with those few sheets are lifts it up enough where the printer has no problems. So let's wait for this to print. As you can see, it prints straight through. And this is what your sheet will look like once it goes through the printer. You actually see as white was the last to print, so all your colors look a, little, look a little bit more dull, but if you flip it over, that's what it will look like once it transfers to a shirt. So now we're going to take this with our B sheet and mirror the two together. So now we're going to go over to our heat press. Okay, so now we're actually putting our two sheets on the press. So you're going to want to put your A sheet down first with the matte side facing up then you're going to want to be putting your B sheet on top of that. You want to put a piece of like parchment paper on top of that just so that if there's anywhere where the A sheet is sticking out from the B sheet, you don't want that to stick on top of your press. So we're going to close this. The settings we'll be using is in Fahrenheit, it's about 315 to 330, and in Celsius, it's about 156 to 165. And you're on a printing or pressing for 90 seconds at medium pressure. Alright, so now we're going to take a break and come back when it's done pressing. Now we're going to be opening up our press. So it's actually going to be a hot peel. So we'll just take this. You'll peel the two sheets apart. And you can see what happened was is where the white was on this sheet actually transferred over and pretty much what this does is one it gives you a better adhesive onto the shirt and two since there's a brighter white behind when you transfer this onto the shirt your colors will pop more because you have that white in the background so now what we're going to do is we're going to trim around the edges because sometimes you get a little bit of a white border to it You're going to want to change your press settings for this. For So in Fahrenheit, you're going to want to do about 285 to about 305. And then for Celsius, you're going to do about around 140 to 151. 
So we're going to change that now. And you're also going to want to increase your pressure to about high. That should be good. So we're going to put our shirt on the press now. See, so just a plain black shirt. Lay that out, make sure everything's all smooth. And you're actually going to want to press your shirt for a couple seconds, just if there's any moisture in it, it'll get that out. We're going to put our image on the shirt, so now the, this time the shiny side is what you'll want facing up towards you. So make sure everything's all lined up. And now we're going to be pressing for 30 seconds. Okay, we'll come back in 30 seconds. Now we're going to lift back up the press. And this step is actually going to be a cold peel. So we'll set it on the table for a second just to cool it down. You can lay it upside down just so that the table itself sucks out some of that heat. You're pretty much going to want it to be just cool to the touch. Still a little warm. And so pretty much what this is doing is it's cooling down the toner so that once you peel it off it actually will leave the paper and transfer to the shirt. So we'll peel this now. And you can see wherever there was that kind of filmy look before, that all transferred wherever there was toner. So you can see as right now, it has a very shiny, almost stickery look to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to repress this. We have two different materials you can repress this with. We have a matte and we have a shiny finished paper. So depending on which one you use, this will look very matte. or It, will, it won't look this shiny, but it will still have a nice shine to it. So we're going to put this back on the press. We're going to grab one of our sheets real quick. So now we put our shirt on the press. The settings you're going to want to use for this is in Fahrenheit in between 356 and 392 and in Celsius in between 180 and 200. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our matte finish paper on top. We're going to set that down. We're going to press it for 30 seconds on high pressure. So now we're going to open up our heat press, take our matte finish sheet off, give it just a slight stretch to it while it's still warm, and you have a finished shirt. So we're going to lay that out. Also some of the other cool things that you can do with this process is you can do things like a foil shirt or a flock shirt. It's the same process, just a little bit different at the end. I'll actually be making a later video on showing you this process. So just to show you again, this is what you can do with our OPC 711 WT printer. If you have any more questions, want to contact us about buying any of the printer, press, paper, anything like that, our phone number is one 260 
You can also go to our website at www.graphicsone.com or you can also send us an email at sales at graphicsone.com. Thank you guys. Have a good day.